Do Somebody uh, who is the writer of the article on Clutter.com that people that, can check out. That would be Adam Chitwood. Chitwood. Doing, Adam dropping Chitwood. in. Love Adam's uh, stuff on .com. The top 10 John Williams scores of all time, which I love. I love these uh, lists for Collider. Great discussion that we can do. John Williams, of course, being my number one, so I have a lot of thoughts on, on this list. Should we go in and read it right now and then compare our list or how yeah, would you want to do so this? so I think we're going to do the same thing we did with our uh, best movies of the decade list where we just kind of go around and mm-hmm. sort of rank our favorite. Well, so then Cody scores. should have the, and tell us what Adam had, right? Correct. Isn't okay. that what he did? Yeah. He, he has it up, John. He, he has it up. Great. Go ahead. Co- Cody's doing his job, John. Don't you talk down to me, Cody. I'm just saying. Why are you being so fragile? <laughs> <laughs> Men are fragile, right, Ken? Alex we is going to be fragile after I get done with this collateral life, I'll tell you that I right mean, now. people are fragile. People but, are fragile. But men are a little bit more. A little bit more. Sure. <laughs> oh, so you don't think so? I'm, I'm asking. We built the pyramids. We landed on the moon. <laughs> okay. That's, we built the pyramids. You're showing your fragility right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I think your answer is correct. Humans are fragile. Humans and have are fragile. different moments of strength and different moments of weakness, and well, that's yeah. okay. It's very political correct. I love but Ken correct. Napsok. No, but it's just because it just it's a weird it's a weird Agreed. fun bit. Yeah. But <laughs> but where I'm just like Don't yeah. get me wrong, you just described yeah, sitcoms just play the last fart noise. No, no, <laughs> and I get it's where like, the idiot is the man. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. Every Kevin James fucking yeah. uh, are we allowed to say Kevin James on the show? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, think it's a banned word. It's from a banned word. But you know, like yeah. I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I mute Kevin James. Do you think he looks at uncut gems and he goes, "I should have been in that." Probably. Yeah. I'm sure he wants to. Okay, yeah, so Anyways. let's start. Well, with... We uh, we are supposed to make a list. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, yes, uh, but, our uh, producer. I thought I was uh, just playing the game. Was, I apologize. Oh, that's not all right. his fault. Oh, I didn't read it right. Yeah. Oh, you that's didn't all right. Read it. That's okay. I'll come up with. We the top don't of my read head. right ever, so it's fine. No, I'll, I'll get. What I'll do is I'll get IMDb. That's the Internet Movie Database. Database. Correct. Um, so uh, as we're celebrating uh, John Williams, uh, let's start with our top ten. So Mark, you go first. Okay, at number ten. Correct. Yes. We're gonna go down in the nut. Yes. Okay. So no, number ten, I have Saving Private Ryan. It's a pretty good one. It's uh, one of the best scores he d- he has for me. It, it it's mm-hmm. it's not you know obviously we'll get to my favorite, but there is something very 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 powerful about that score. It puts me right back into the movie. I love this score so much. If I'm in a particular mood, I put that score on and just listen to it straight through because it's just I don't know. I write to it as well because it's, really it's just very dramatic. I mean, he has not made a bad score, that man. Uh, my top ten, because I'm going to give Ken a little chance to go uh-huh. through his list, uh-huh. is actually uh, one that I was very impressed by when I first saw it in the theater because it was the first score uh, of John's that I've heard to be pretty different because it was so jazzy, and that's Catch Me If You Can. Oh, yeah. I yeah, think cool. it's, it's an excellent one. score. I got to see it live at the bowl. Good choice. And the, uh, how do you say flautista in English? Flutist? Flute? Yeah. yeah. Sure. So the guy was playing the flute. Like, it was it was really impressive, and it's not it's not something that's super – You Exactly. You can sing it. But the arrangements underneath, like instrumental-wise, are crazy. It's one of the grades, yeah. yeah. How, what you got, John? Yeah, my number 10 is Jurassic Park. Yay. Right. Yeah. It made the list. Speaking of Jurassic Park. It was close. Country, do you know who I saw yesterday? Who? Jeff Goldblum. Nice. And his, uh, uh, and his, was, he, was he in the yeah, Rite Aid? Yeah. He no, I saw Aid, him at the Rockwell uh, with his band. Oh. And he uh, was amazing. That was last night? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Damn. Yeah, we're going to go again in January if you guys cool. want to come. Cool. Yes. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, but they did play a little Jurassic Park on the saxophone. Oh, nice. That's, so that makes sense. Nice. Have you heard John? Uh, Je- did he lie? Jeff there? Goldblum's um, lyrics to Jurassic Park. No. He's like in Jurassic Park, scary in the dark. Better run or you'll be eaten. Oh. That's. But he's saying Very it well on a talk show, and it was but you'll really. Be eaten. It was yeah, really so Jeff good. Goldblumy. Mm-hmm. It was perfect. So cool. Ken, do you mm-hmm. have one? I haven't seen any any of these movies. Okay. <laughs> so, what's your number nine, Mark? My number nine is Harry Potter. Oh wait, sorry. Before oh, we before sure. we go to no, nine, no Cody, problem. are any of those on the list? We had two winners. Okay. We have uh, Catch Me If You Can was yes. on there, and we have Jurassic Park was on. There Ooh. you go. Oh, okay. Interesting. I got, I got my number ten. What's your number ten, Ken? It's, a, it's an underrated movie. I love it. Sabrina, 1995. That's I on love my Sabrina. List. That's yeah. so good. Julia Ormond. Yeah. Mm. Harrison mm. Ford. Great Kinnear. Directed by Sidney Greg Pollack. Greg Kinnear's first it. acting role. Nah. Yeah. It is, because he was really? the host yep. of Top Talk Soup. He's a comedian more, uh, and uh, got cast in that. And then on, on dress rehearsals, he was chewing gum. And Harrison Ford was like, Who's chewing gum? And got mad at him, and it was a mess. So um, I love that movie. That's a good impression. That's great, a great movie. movie. Beautiful score. Mm. So, uh, Mark, what's your to- top nine? Uh, nine is Harry Potter and the Prisoner 
of Azkaban. Specifically mm. that one, Specifically why? Specifically because, because of the songs? The songs, mm -hmm. the orchestral arrangements that he did with some of the voices, something double, wicked this double, way comes. Double, yep, it's so double. good. Has the Harry Potter theme, goes a little darker. He gets, uh, he really started to, and this was William's last Harry Potter score. Mm -hmm. He did three in a row, and this mm. was his most dark and his most, That's right. I thought, mature that was catching up with the kid's age, especially for a lot of people's favorite Harry Potter movies. So it's, yeah, it's become a, a score that I put in constantly. I completely agree. It's a great score. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, because number four was by Patrick Doyle, I believe, who also went dark and pretty cool. Yeah, number uh, four was Patrick Doyle, and then Nicholas H H Hooper, Hooper did, yeah, yeah five, five and, and six. six. Yep. Hooper. No, no, no. And then, and then five and six, and then Displot did, did the, the two. We're yeah. nerds. You okay, money so out of your life, Hooper. <laughs> my, to my top nine is actually Jurassic Park. Um, oh, okay. It's I used to listen to that soundtrack over and over again when I was a kid. It's just it's just perfect. It's a perfect, uh, really cool action adventure uh, score that gets almost to the point where it's too cheesy. But it's just the right amount of cheesiness, you know, for a Spielberg movie. So yeah, yeah. that's good. It's classic. What about you, John? Uh, What's my your number, number nine? nine is uh, E. T. <clears throat> it's yeah. Good man. Yeah, glad it made, it made it. the top ten. It made, but it's a. You know, I'm not always the biggest fan of the movie, but I do enjoy that score. That song is so iconic, and when you hear it, you can't help but be caught up in being. Uh, remembering your childhood again. Mm -hmm. it, it just kind of hits all the right notes to bring you right back into being a kid again. And so I love it for that. Okay. I, I was debating between E.T. or what will be my choice because I'm right with you too mm. where I, I do, I was at the right age where I, I, E.T. was one of the first movies I saw in a theater and I was like, I think I want to kiss girls. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, And E.T. made you think of kissing girls? Yeah, the scene with the, the scene dissecting with the, the, the frog frogs. and everything, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'll, uh, so I'm with you too where I, I yeah. hear it and I'm just like, Childhood, but I'll go with uh, Superman because the reason is I am not a superhero guy, but I grew up with that just in my brain, mm -hmm. and so I, I'll put that a little lower for me personally. But I know it's higher probably in terms of what yeah, he, what he did. Yep. I'm with you, man. I love that you put it on there. I mean, Cody, any of those on I the had list? No choice. All right, so we had uh, E.T. was on there. Oh, Soroka got that one, nice. and then Superman with Ken. Of course, nice. it has to be. Okay, great. So what's your number eight, Mark? My number eight is Catch Me If You Can. That's yeah, yeah. it comes good. around. It's it's pretty. It's I love it so much. It's so jazzy and perfect. It's really when I'm wanting to write some good, like fun dialogue or just be upbeat. I, it's just put it on. If yeah. you have a glass of wine, listening to Catch Me If You Can, that's a good day happening. Well, right if there. you have a glass of wine, all just time, cross the board. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. It makes everything better. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so my number eight is uh, the one of the most terrifying scores ever, which is Jaws. Uh, mm. That's terrifying for me because I'm scared of sharks. Yeah. Uh, Mark Riley is obviously one of his favorite movies. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. This is one of the most genius things anybody's ever done to have two notes, mm -hmm. literally, yeah. be most of this this score. Two mm -hmm. notes that are in a minor key that that are that scared the crap out of you, that that alerts you that a monster is coming to get you. It's just brilliant. That's as close as you get to the brown note, I think, is is, is, mm. is Jaws, the Jaws theme. Agreed. Uh, my number eight is Lincoln. Ooh, <clears throat> Lincoln. I love his score for Whoa. Lincoln. Whoa! Why? Out of left field, Lincoln. Because it just, you know, Lincoln is one of my favorite presidents ever. But what he does with that score in like evoking <laughs> both the presidential nature of him, but also the way he was so unique to the presidency because he's such an outlier mm -hmm. as a president. And so when you hear the score, <laughs> when you hear the score, it's so like, it's just so perfectly captures Lincoln that I thought, I, I love it. And, I and when I watch, and I'm not the biggest fan of the movie, but that score is great because you get that presidential vibe, but also that kind of exclusivity about it. So, I agree. Yeah. It's almost like a, which I, what this didn't make my list, but mm -hmm. I think it's one of his underrated scores is the Patriot. Yeah, Patriot's it's a good score. Pretty Patriot's beautiful great. too. Yeah. 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 Ken, what you got? Uh, 1982's Monsignor. I mean, oh, I read the wrong. E.T. <laughs> e e e e I'll, e I'll throw E.T. there. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Very good. Eight. <laughs> I'm eating uh, one of uh, John Rocco's peanut butter pretzels. Thank yeah. you. Offending Ken you and know, Cody. You know hey, what? Cody. Time out. You did this in Chicago. What? I was watching Game of Thrones in my hotel room, and mm -hmm. I demanded complete silence. And you went down to the bar and got the the bar mix, mm -hmm. and you crunched macaroons and nuts mm -hmm. all through the episode. This is what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you crunch. Well, did crunch, I did, did, did my focus. crunching uh, bother your Game of Thrones I want experience? Complete silence. Jesus. I don't want to hear you breathe. Do you know Ken Napsok? Damn. Have you met him? I was in there and he seemed happy. I didn't realize mm -hmm. he was pissed that I was consuming food because so, I was working all day and nice I had guy. to eat a little bit. No. But he has certain no. demands. It's like people are like, uh, you, you, where are you going for the Super Bowl? Alone. 
<laughs> yeah. In yeah. her room. Yeah. I think that's why she calls everyone else fragile because she likes to mess up everyone else's things mm -hmm. by doing loud noises and making, you know. I do love making loud so noises. So she's like, you're, you're really? fragile. I'm fine. You're fragile. I didn't say I was fine. I'm super fragile. <laughs> I just admit it. Unlike the you, men dude. in the room. Shit, you can't I argue with that. that. No, so Jaws was one of them. Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cody. Thank you, Jaws. Jaws. And that was it. Jess, okay, so no, so what was I, it, Lincoln? I, no Lincoln, no, I mean, E.T. wasn't it, but he already. Oh, yeah, we already went there. Okay, okay. so uh, your number seven, Mark. Is Hook. Me too. Nice. Is number seven? Yes. Nice, yeah, Hook is, you know, I know a lot of people, I love the movie, it's just, it kind of just hit me in that that mm -hmm. that place when it came out, but the music is so beautiful, it's so, the, really, the flying yes. theme for when Robin Williams, Peter Pan, yeah, yeah, yeah. finally realizes his happy thought and go, that, that's, that's one, one of the best themes of all time. The whole score is gorgeous, though. It really is. It's whimsical. You have the hook theme it's just as well. It's for just the movie. It's perfect for the movie. It's one of his best. I love this score. And, and it, that's, talk about a uh, score uh, similar to a lot of the other stuff that John Williams does. This totally enhances the movie. Yeah. Like, yes. This, this just makes the movie. It's a, it, it's a compliment to the movie. And it's interesting, too. I mean, I think, uh, as you know, a lot everybody copies themselves and, and, and their own art. And obviously, uh, I love Harry Potter, but the reason I didn't put it in here is because I think John took so many of the the you know the hooks and and the mel the melodic themes on, from Hook to put on Harry Potter. Oh, so I, I would say that for the first two movies, but listen to Prisoner of Azkaban again. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's your number seven, John? Uh, Schindler's List. Yeah. Yeah. Very depressing. Very beautiful, though. Yeah, but I also think this is the first time John has composed an entire score without the lighthearted motifs that he likes to slide in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Which is why it works so well with Spielberg. Yeah. I think both him and Spielberg like took this film seriously. They yeah. understood what they were and they didn't want to make like even in Jaws, which has that doo doo doo, you still have when they're on the boat, there you have that uplifting like we're on the nest, we're on a mission here type of film. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. You get that thing and you're caught up in it. But in Schindler's there's none of that. Even when the positive stuff happen, he's, happens, even when you he's saving these people, there is still the melancholy hiding f very, very firmly underneath all he's on uh, the score. And so yeah. I think it's fantastic in it's, that way. It's really uh, beautiful. And, and mm. Itzhak Perlman uh, yes. played the violin in it. Yeah. And it's just, it's really, really I remember great. when he did that for the Oscars, when he did it live mm -hmm. for the Oscars, I cried. Yeah, so it, it, that violin hits and you're just like. <sighs> well, and I, uh, for, at the Hollywood Bowl, when they have played it, uh, mm -hmm. when John Williams mm. was there, uh, the, uh, I think it's, uh, I forget who the violinist, uh, the main, like the first chair violin mm. plays it. I think it's Bing Wong. It's this woman that always plays either the Schindler's List theme or the Sabrina theme on the violin, and it's just amazing, and every time I cry. It's mm -hmm. very annoying. Yeah. Ken, what did you got? Number seven, mm -hmm. Jurassic Park. Perfect. Uh, I don't like the movie. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I do like it. I, I didn't see it in the theaters. I didn't really grow up with it in a sense. Right. Uh, but that sounds like if dinosaurs roamed the earth yeah, and you yeah, went yeah. to a park where they were hanging out, that'd be the sound mm -hmm. playing. Pretty much. And I like that. The epic yeah. nature of it. Yeah. 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 Cody, did we win anything? All right. Everyone's a winner. We yeah, had uh, Hook mentioned. Yes. Nice. And we had Schindler's List, and then Jurassic Park was mentioned before. There yes. you go. Nice. Okay. Nice. So uh, what's your number five? Oh, no, it's number six. It's Schindler's List for me. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mine is actually Sabrina. Um, nice. I think it's uh, it's one of the most underrated things uh, John Williams has done. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful, beautiful uh, theme. Also, mm -hmm. mainly my violin, but it just keeps going. It they keep he keeps adding all these instrumentation to it. It's yeah. gorgeous. You guys should check it out if you mm -hmm. haven't. It's John. Uh, my number six is JFK. Wow, yes, man. that's so good. That. <laughs> Yes, the trumpet. That yep. all of it, mm -hmm. the combo of it, just kind of gets me every single time. I was a mad, mad addict to this film. This came out in the time when I was like an Oliver Stone junkie, mm -hmm. and I went and saw this film like I don't know, ten times in the theater. I bought books and read up all the conspiracy. Oh yeah, theories I believe the movie was real. I was Absolutely. obsessed with that when I was a kid. <laughs> right, and you're like, who's this Clay Bertrand? Clay oh, Shaw? Yeah. Well, how come no one's ever talked about nah. it? You go searching and hunting for it and stuff. It was so fascinating to explore in the Warren Commission, Warren Report, which I couldn't finish, but like you, it was it's. It's a thing, but when you watch it every single time, and the movie doesn't 100% hold up nowadays, but the score mm -hmm. gives you the weight of what they're going after, and the sadness of the loss of this president is it has like there are notes of that mm. throughout his score yeah. and this determination to to like save America in his mind. Yeah, so. it's pretty cool. You I, described that beautifully, dude. Yeah. I, I love your uh, your your taste in uh, music and the way you describe it, dude. Listen, I, yeah. I, I bow down to you guys' knowledge of the school, but when you're, they you're hit up me, there, with, I know when they hit me. Please, yeah. you're you're, you're, you're awesome, you. dude. That's awesome. Ken, do you have a number six? Number six. 
Netflix, huh? How am I supposed to handle Star Wars stuff? Um, am I, I think, I think it it's per movie. Oh, yeah. I'm doing per movie. I think it's a score. It's oh, like wow. score okay. per movie. That's yes. Tough. It it's is tough for me. I That's why we're playing the whole franchise. It's just going to put like one generic. No, I only one pick, I picked Wars. one Star Wars album. One Star Wars movie is what I picked. I think Same. it's your list. You can do what you want. Okay. That's you can. true. He does have the point. So we're up number six. Um, I'll go. Uh, I'll go. Saving Private Ryan at number okay. six. Good. It's a pretty good one. Good yeah, one. Yeah. So Cody, did we make it? Nothing new there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing new. oh that's right. It's a lot of movies. So JFK, so JFK is, not on there. is probably not on there. Okay. No surprise. So My, we talked uh, the same prim- Okay. Now we're going to do number five. Mark. There's still three left. Number five. There's three left on his list. I and think I think I, we're going to get them. Okay. We'll probably get there. Okay. My number five is uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm. That's a great one. It's his. It's for the Indiana Jones, if you want pure Indiana Jones, I have to give it to that, even though I think... Last Crusade's really, really good because I love the his theme for Sean Connery's uh, his you know Henry Jones yeah, Senior yeah. is beautiful, but Marion's theme from Raiders of the Lost oh, Ark so is good. one of the most beautiful like love themes, mm-hmm. and then the action of course, and if you put on the truck scene that music. Yeah. You will get shit done in your place. <laughs> you will you will clean. You'll start cleaning. You will clean. You will probably write a novel. You will probably do like so many things. That is the most fun, great action scene music uh, that I play over and over and over again. Right. Yeah. yeah so Raiders. Good. Raiders. Baby. It is very good. Um, oh. my number five I know is on Mark Riley's list. Uh, and also has an incredible love theme. And that is Superman because mm. uh, not only is it one of the best, if not the best, superhero theme ever written, but uh, the love theme, Can You Read My Mind, that is a good song, you guys. Do you know the lyrics of that? Can you read my mind? Oh, God. It. It's Melissa Manchester. That's it? I yeah. think. I don't know the, I don't know the lyrics in general. Can I have you to read, read my mind? Yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah. know? Yeah. Good da, 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 da. Uh, John, what do you got? Uh, I guess I'd put the, uh, I put Harry Potter the whole series, but I guess I'll put whichever ones he did, but I'll put President of Azkaban. I'll put okay. that one there, certainly, okay. as my favorite of the entire one, so logically the score would be perfect there. Okay. Yeah. Kent. Number five? Yes. Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> did not know John Williams wrote that. Johnny, did he, Johnny Williams. Did he wrote, really? Did all the music uh, in the show. There it I'm is. a huge Gilligan's Island fan. I used to watch it four times a day during the summer on yes. syndication. I love the show. And he did. That, he, so he, he did the, the. He got started in TV as a uh, yeah, did. Johnny Williams, and uh-huh. he, he did uh, a lot of the music in that show. So I'm, I'm going to put that. That's pretty cool. Because it's, it's a childhood memory. Yep. Yeah, that's great. That's Cody, awesome. anything in there? Nothing new that time, guys. Okay. What? Three movies left. No okay. Gilligan's what? Island. No, no Gilligan's Island. Wow. Okay, number four, Mark. Uh, Jaws. It's, Great. it's You know, I, I, it's not as maybe some people might think it'd be like my number one, number two maybe, but I put it here. Not even for the Jaws theme, though I love it. It's not what I go back to. It's the Orca theme. The adventure mm. yeah, when the, the barrels, right. the first barrel chase yeah. scene is one yeah. of the most beautifully composed, like, swashbuckling adventure That's it's perfect so word. perfect it's like it, it's this this when you watch jaws that action moment with the with the barrels and this music complimenting it it's just so fantastic and then the last very last track on that album is the orca theme again but it's very slow it's reserved it's like whew, we just killed a shark kind of thing it's it's beautiful too and i, I mean it's it a all beautiful moment for me because i was terrified of that shark as a kid mm-hmm. uh my number four is uh, i think one of uh john williams most underrated scores which is close encounters of the third kind i love it uh, yeah. if it's not on that list i think adam chid i need to have a talk with adam chidwood i think it's, it should be it's amazing uh I, when i was a kid and it's crazy how much how many scenes in that movie are n- uh, lacking dialogue mm-hmm. and it's all being thro- told through the music and uh, and it sounds like aliens are coming like yeah. it's exactly like John Williams said, he's a genius man that's why I would, that was why I blacked out when I met him mm-hmm. John what you got for number four uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade in the last because, crusade, yeah. Because what you said about, I mean, the dad thing is, is so perfect. It's it kind of puts it over the, score. the top for me. And it's the one that I go back to and watch more than Raiders of the Lost Ark. So the score is one of the big reasons why. It's yeah. my favorite Indiana Jones yeah. movie. Yeah. Ken? Excuse me, I'm adding more muted Star Wars words and phrases to my Twitter. <laughs> That's good. Um, I, I, uh, I bet four. you you don't have as many muted as I do. Uh, I, as of today, I am no longer talking Star Wars online. Same. As of I have only, told people, only on the shows I'm involved in. I have told people to just same, check man. out my the, the reviews that I'm in, and then that's it. Yeah. 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 No joke, I've muted, but I just one got through, yeah, there's and no someone talking. just spoiled something in a question to me. 
Oh. That I, I, I just like what, what, your monsters out there. Yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous. My monsters. number four is will be Jaws. Jaws, yeah. Great one, uh, Cody. There was only one that time, and it was John Rocco with Indiana Jones mm, and the Last Crusade. Oh, they chose okay. Last Crusade. Okay. Mm, it's Interesting. Really good. They're all really good. Wow. Left. And okay. Not Kingdom of the Crystal I'll Skull. Feel you, wow. What I feel you. Okay, so since we're running out of time, <laughs> let's go through the last three uh, quickly. Mark, okay. number three. S- Superman. Uh, obvi- for Where's obvious it? reasons, I love it, but there are tracks on that that are so gorgeous, other than the Superman theme itself. The uh, uh, Leaving Home. Planet he, Krypton. And Planet Krypton, Oof, thank you. It's so, so beautiful. And, of course, then the Lois Lane flying theme. Uh, can that you read just my mind? Go- yeah. Can you read my mind? Beautiful. Uh, my number three is my favorite uh, Christmas soundtrack <gasps> to listen to, which is Home Alone. Home Alone. Oh, I almost. So wow. underrated. It's it, so that, great. that is a work of art, that, that mm-hmm. album. Uh, I mean, John Williams did not just write amazing uh, themes, but also songs, right? Somewhere yeah. in my memory, it's a super cheesy, beautiful song with a kid's choir that my mom makes us listen to every year. A beautiful soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. John? Number th- four or three? Number three, Jaws. Three, three is Jaws. Yeah. Uh, not just for the, uh, like I said, theme, the swashbuckling stuff, but also at the end. Yeah. That kind of like finale theme when, there's, uh, when they're paddling. Da, 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 yeah, it's like the, oh, we made it. We did it. We survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ken? Three? Hopeful. Yes. Number three. Uh, uh, that's going to be Raiders of the Lost Ark for me. Okay. Good man. Yeah. I think the theme is just, uh, come on, I'll hum that sometimes mm. very badly because I can't sing in a mm. car. But you still feel like Indiana Jones when you hum it. That's, it's, he, that's my favorite cinematic character. It's great. Indiana Jones. And so just, oh. I love it. It feels so adventurous. Is that a next book? Cody? Nope. No. Damn Keep it. going. No Home Alone. No. Nope. I need to talk to Adam. Two movies left. Number two, Mark. Empire Strikes Back. That is also my number two. That's your number That's two? That's my number two as well. No way. Nice. Cross the board. John, yeah, Empire. Not, not, not my number, number two. two, no. What's okay. your number two? Superman. Oh, well, there you right. go. Yeah, you yeah. Right. So I picked Empire just because I think it has the the biggest set of Star Wars themes that uh, are my favorite. Yoda's mm-hmm. theme. The Imperial March. I think mm-hmm. I'm going to make a bad joke now, but I think John Williams wrote that and then went to whatever girl he was dating or his wife. And I was like, I think we should have sex because I'm a genius. Yeah, that yeah, is one should've. of the yeah. coolest themes in a movie ever. I mean, you look at him, you're like, that guy gets down to music. For sure. But yeah. the asteroid field chase Ooh, yes. is yeah. some of the best uh, music ever I, I love Han and Leia's theme was, was introduced say, in yeah. Empire mm-hmm. Strikes Back mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and still one of my favorite cues of all time in Star Wars all time music yeah. is when they're escaping on Bespin and R2-D2 does the smoke and that music mm-hmm. surges and it's Yoda's theme of all things and well Han and Leia's theme Yoda's theme into yeah, yeah. Han and Leia's theme in different arrangements it gets me every fucking time and then of course the Battle of Hoth Right. It's something yes. some of the best yeah. music ever. Agreed. Cody, anything? Nope. No Empire Strikes Back. Still two movies left. Okay. <laughs> two <laughs> movies. <laughs> What's our number one, Mark? Number one is E.T. I've said Me everybody too. knows E.T. E. E. Yeah. It's the be- it's the most beautiful music from start to finish. I can listen to that entire album and every single song on there, every com- uh, composition, all the way down to it, like an eight minute track of them escaping with E.T. E. that leads into flying, that leads into Elliot saying goodbye. On that cue of Elliot saying goodbye to E.T., I can quote it f- verbatim from memory based on the cue, and it makes me cry every time. E.T. is a fantastic score. Yeah. Phone home, Elliot. Yeah, no, I agree. I think we all agree that it's amazing. What's your number one, John? What's your number one, too? Yeah. E.T.? Yeah, no, I think oh. I think E.T. is, is uh, okay. the reason I chose it is is similar to what I said about Close Encounters, is gotcha. that uh, the music is basically a character itself mm-hmm, in the movie, right. and all of the very sweet uh, magical moments between Elliot and, and E.T., there's not a lot of dialogue, right? I it's know. just them discovering each other and like getting to know each other, uh, and, and it's all of uh, it's all John Williams' score. Mm-hmm. That's I, it. The, the emotional impact is mostly John in okay. that movie. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Uh, it's Star Wars A New Hope. That's my number one. Perfect. Because, uh, look, you get to see the full breadth of John's talent right off the bat. Bah! Yeah. Like the, uh, this is all the score. This is the entire orchestra. Mm-hmm. Right? And then the smaller stuff. The two sons moment. Like yeah. He mm-hmm. decorates that really softly. Mm-hmm. Then the Vader stuff, right? Then the Kenobi. Bum, 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 and the Kenobi death. Ba-da-da, ba-da-da. What does that mean? And then this guy. So all the images look to, the to me. Sun, the binary sunset. The binary, yeah. All of it just throughout. I know Leia's theme's not in this, but like. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm Leia's sorry. It's not. Hanalea's theme's not, Leia's theme's not in yeah. this, but I think it's. The, he hits all the right notes with all these characters in this one. And this, it's, it's, I think this is the, the foundation for everything that comes Because mm-hmm. you wait for that every single time. Every single movie, mm-hmm. Star Wars movie, you wait for that. Bah, 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 bah. So, yeah. yeah. Ken? Yeah, my number one. Uh, so, so Empire put number two. I think it might be as, but again, it's hard. It's always hard to 
the first always gets erased sometimes. Yeah, you know, you're, you're it like, does. Yeah. You forget it's the, one, it's the one that says. So I think New Hope's a great choice. Yes. Two, I put Empire uh, just because, like, it, exactly what you said. Yoda's theme might be my favorite. Uh, on, I didn't realize it was one of my favorite themes until I really studied it. But I'm gonna. I have to stand true with what I've said before. My favorite Star Wars score is Revenge of the Sith, mm-hmm. and the wow, reason is because John. That came in there and and worked and j- just created some amazing stuff we'd never heard before in Star yeah. Wars. Uh, Phantom Menace brought the great rock single, but it starts with drums and right. war. It starts with this, and Padme's rumination is one of my favorite songs, right. uh, pieces in Star Wars. It's... And and it, it, that was George telling a story with no words, and John's music told the story. Too. So it's weird to say, and you know, I'm prequels, you all know that, but like. Empire, New Hope, like I, Jedi, yub, yub, nub me all life, yub all my nub. life, man. I Lapty love, neck, Lapty neck, like it's crazy stuff. And I love a lot of new stuff too that he, he put out. The Rage themes, one of my favorites. Blah blah yeah, blah. We had this discussion theme. for a long time. I just always, I think Revenge of the Sith. He br- introduced some new stuff to me that I was like, wow. He, he threw a threw a wrinkle in, right. and I love that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, and as you know, with the, I'm not a huge fan of the prequels. The mm-hmm. music in the prequels is excellent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and I think you you made a good point, Ken, that out of all the new Star Wars stuff that mm-hmm. uh, John has made i think he definitely for that particular movie he did an excellent job with mm-hmm. uh all of the character development and and and, mm. and uh awesome looking planets so yeah, yeah. cody do we win anything you got one of them well we, we did a new hope oh, oh. there yeah. you go john well well so okay. what, what did we miss we missed one uh how about i reveal it in the final countdown here yeah, let's do it all right i think we're done countdown. coming in at number 10 was indiana jones and the last crusade Boom. Okay. wow Number nine was Hook. Boom! Yeah. Number eight, E.T. Boom! Too low. Seven, Superman. Boom! Mm-hmm. Too low. And number six, this is the one you guys missed. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Ah! ah. Harry uh, Potter. Okay. We're in the world. We're in the world. Yeah, we're in right the there. world. Number five, Schindler's List. Boom! Number four, Catch Me If You Can. Boom! Number <laughs> three, Jaws. Boom! Keep number two, it. Jurassic Park. Boom! Okay. Keep and doing number it. one, A New Hope. Keep doing it. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for that, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> that was an excellent recap. That's a good list. Of Adam Chimwood's list. That's a good list. Okay, I would so. Move some-